Hey guys, welcome to Kids for Code. Today we're going to start our Java course and set everything up. So we've decided to start Java now so you can have the option to choose whether you want to learn HTML or Java or both. In case you didn't watch our very first video, my name is Connie and Kids for Code is made up of high school students who want to teach kids to learn to code themselves. Anyone and everyone is welcome to learn with us and we upload these YouTube videos and offer free Zoom lessons where you can come in, ask questions, and get extra practice. Knowing how to code is so important because we can make almost anything we want with coding. It's super fun and useful, especially in our future as well. So again, you can go to our website to see things like our topics and curriculum. This is also where you can sign up for our free Zoom lessons. We updated our HTML curriculum. So you can see that in more detail. We also uploaded our Java curriculum. Again, this is just a general list of a few of the topics we're gonna to be covering these next few weeks. So our Java course is split up into two difficulty levels, beginner and advanced. The beginner class is mostly made for kids with little to no experience programming, which is completely fine. And the advanced class is made for kids who already know the basics of programming, especially programming at Java, and who want to get into more difficult Java concepts like file input and output, arrays, things like that. But anyone who completes our beginner class is also welcome and recommended to sign up for our advanced class. So you can see both the beginner and advanced curriculums on our website. So what is Java? Java is a programming language that makes code easy and simple to read, write, and understand. So like I said in the very first video, uh, programming language or coding languages are just what you as a programmer used to talk to and communicate with your computer to tell it what you want it to do for you. And Java is one of the most popular coding languages out there. It's used to do all sorts of things like build games like Minecraft, um, apps, a lot of the apps on your phone, your tablets, other devices are all coded from Java. So besides being able to bake so many cool things like games and apps, why should you learn Java? Well, it's the most in-demand programming language, which means there are more employers who want you to know Java in order to get hired for a job. And these are just a few examples of some big name companies that use Java, like Google, Netflix, Apple, and so many more. This is some code written in Java, and it might look really confusing and complicated. There's a lot going on, but in a few weeks, you'll be able to read and write and understand all of this and more, so don't worry. But before we can actually start learning to code something like this, there are a few really important steps we need to do first. And the first step is to actually install Java. Now your computer might already have Java installed, but just in case we're gonna double check. So if you're using a Mac, go to your system preferences and see if there's a Java icon that looks like this. If you're using a PC, a Windows PC like me, go to your search bar down here, type in control panel, enter and click programs down here at the bottom and again see if there's a Java icon so if you already have Java installed that's great if you don't not to worry we're gonna walk you through everything step by step so feel free to pause this video at any time to follow along at your own pace and everything is also linked in the description so to install Java we need a web browser so I'm using Chrome you can use any web browser but just type in Java Click on this first option, Java Oracle, click Java Download, the big red button, and it will automatically give you the correct version to install based on the type of computer you're using. So if you're using a Mac, it will already give you the download version for Mac, and since I'm using Windows, it already gives me download Java for Windows, so you don't need to worry about that. Just scroll down and click Agree and start free download and you should be able to see it downloading here in the bottom left corner. So go ahead and click on that. And it might ask you for a password for your computer. So then it's gonna to start to launch. Now you should get a screen like this, a welcome screen. Go ahead and click install. This might take a few minutes. So a few minutes has gone by now and it's finally done installing. So when it's done, you should see a complete screen like this that tells you you have successfully installed Java. So when you get to this point, you can go ahead and close it and go on to the next step, which is 
setting up a workspace. So a workspace is basically just a place in your computer where all of your projects will be saved. So we need this so that everything, all of our files and code are saved into one place and it's easier to see everything and access our files, our projects. So to do this, just go to your documents, go to your file explorer, click documents, and then over here at the top for PC, there's an icon called new folder. You can name it something like kids for code uh, workspace. Loading, okay. So same thing for Mac, just go to your documents and click new folder. So now we've finished setting that up, we're finally ready to start downloading Eclipse. So Eclipse is an IDE, which is an integrated development environment, which is just a fancy way of saying that it's an easy, it's a place to easily write, run, and test all of your code and projects. So there's lots of other IDEs out there, but Eclipse is one of the easiest to use and it's the most popular, and it's also completely free to install. So we're gonna use Eclipse. Again, you're gonna need a web browser, so go to your web browser, type in Eclipse, and click the first option. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So at the top right corner, there should be an orange button called Download, and it will take you to this Downloads page. So just like when we were installing Java, it will automatically give you the correct version to install. Um, so whether it's a Mac or a PC, you don't need to worry about that. So just click download, download again, and it will show at the bottom left corner. So again, I fast forwarded so you don't have to sit around and watch me install it. But once it's done, uh, down, done downloading, you click it, and it should start to launch the installer. So now this installer page should pop up and we want this first option called Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So select that and then you should get um, an install page like this with a button. So we're going to click install. Again, this might take a few minutes. If you get a message like this in the middle of it, just go ahead and click accept and it'll keep installing. So now a launch screen should appear and we're going to click launch. Just wait for it to start up. Again, I fast forwarded all of this, but when it finally finishes launching, you should get this Eclipse IDE launcher screen. And it's really important to know that we have to click browse and select in your documents, the folder, the workspace that we just made, our Kids for Code workspace, because this way, all of our files and projects from Eclipse will be automatically saved in one place. So we don't have to look all over our computer to find it. And just for convenience, you can select, use this as the default and click launch. So now Eclipse has finally opened up and you might see a different welcome screen um, with slightly different icons. If you do, don't worry, just click on the icon that says go to workbench. But if you see a similar screen like mine, we're gonna go to the top left corner where it says file, click file, new Java project, the first option. And you can name it our first project that we're gonna be starting next time, hello world and then just click finish then you can go ahead and x out of this welcome screen and you should be able to see your project that you just created here in the left um, under this category called package explorer so now you've just created your first project folder but to actually write our code in Java, we need to do that in something called a class. So to make a class, we can right click on the project, click new, class. Now it's really important to know that when you're naming your class, it can't have any spaces between words and it also can't start with um, numbers like one or whatever, but it can have numbers in between, just can't start with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and name it hello world with no spaces and just click finish when you're done. And this is the basic template that Eclipse will give you when you first make a class. It's just the two lines that you automatically start, start with every single time you make a class. And you've just created a class to put all of your code in now. So we're actually going to start coding with uh, basic print statements, things like that in our next video. But for today, all you need to do is make sure that you know how to make sure your work is saved correctly. Right now, I haven't changed anything, so there's nothing to say, but if 
I made a change um, and it hasn't been saved correctly, you can see that because there's a star over here in the corner of the tab. So to save, just as a shortcut, you can either do Control S on your keyboard or you can go over here to the left, top, top left corner and click save. And this will just make sure everything is automatically saved to your Kids for Code workspace. After you're done with that, you can go ahead and X out of Eclipse. So if you had any trouble setting up Eclipse or Java or anything else that we navigated through, don't worry, feel free to contact us through our website or email us directly with your problem and you can join our Zoom lessons. We're gonna be reviewing everything in more detail and we'll answer all of your questions one-on-one. -on -one. So not to worry. Thank you guys so much for watching today and we'll see you next time.